can film with it. So today we're putting on our roof rack. I have this uh, bracket kit from Unica Gear and it takes one for each one of these little knobs on your uh, your van and they're different for the different sizes. So on the 159 extended there's five of them per side. And you don't have to do all of them if you don't want to do the entire uh, roof space. But basically the way it works is you have a little notch right there that just folds on there and grabs that and then this slides over like that and then this is my L bracket for 8020. They include the uh, T-nuts for the, the uh, rail. So you just run that through. And you'll tighten these down with a socket. Right now I'm just putting them up here loose so I can uh, get a feel for how the rack is going to be. That's it. So we've got five going across. And we'll have one big long span of 80-20 and then cross braces in between. So I have this 80-20 uh, 15 series black in six foot lengths and I want to make it go across the full length of the van which is about 12 feet from bracket to bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them. Uh, I have a tap, a 5 16 inch tap and then just run that down slowly until you get your full thread and then I'm going to take a threaded rod and cut it to twice the length. Screw that into there. And screw the other end into here and then I'll have a 12 foot length and it's a little stronger than just putting a little tab in there and trying to hold them together with their little joiner piece. Um, I'll also have ang angle brackets coming off to the side like that which will make it nice and rigid. This is just to prevent it from pulling apart. That's how you start? Yep. So I've just got some cutting fluid that I bought off Amazon. I'm just putting a little bit of it on there to help. And you just start your tap and just kind of turn it while applying pressure. Why do you have to stop and put it back in? What's the reason? Uh, the threads gum up with the aluminum. And so this just basically takes them out of there. That's why wipe it off. See all that stuff in there. How many more times do you have to do this? Well, I've got two sides, so I gotta do it uh, on two, two ends of two different pieces, so two more times. Okay, so I've got uh, yeah, both the 20 uh, extrusions, and now I'm gonna cut my all thread to go inside. This is 5 16 by 18 all thread. It's available at Home Depot. Um, this blue, marks the distance that I'm going to cut. It went in one inch and so I'm going to cut like one and seven eighths because it's you want a similar amount on both sides but I don't want it to be exactly two because they may not line up perfectly against each other so if it's a little short I know that they'll cinch together. So I'm just going to use my angle grinder. You could also use a um, hacksaw put these plus nuts on them because they're 5 16 Sometimes when you're using an angle grinder to cut uh, all thread, it 
gums up the end, and so that just gives you something to to go off the end of it to make it clean up by itself. These are very hot when they first come off, so be careful when you're touching it. That's that's our length. So you can see there's like little lips on there. So when I screw this off, when I screw that off of the, the end of the nut, it'll clean it up as it's going off. Okay, so I've joined my two pieces together. So that makes one nice long 12 foot section. Now you can buy 80, 20 and 12 foot sections, but it's more expensive to ship because uh, UPS can't handle it or they won't take something that long. I think the biggest that they'll take is 97 inches. Uh, the 12 footer would be 144 and so two six footers can be shipped for a lower cost and you can make your 12 foot out of it probably not as strong but it's not it's pretty good okay. it. Um, so now we're going to put in our two nuts so this is uh, the ones that come with the unica kit this barrel goes down into towards the middle so you're going to put two of these per bracket that you have on the top of the van because it has two holes and then you just slide them into place and tighten them down. Preload, right? Yep. Okay, so I put a piece of uh, blue painter's tape over the end so now that we have it all preloaded, that'll just prevent them from falling out if we get tipped at a weird angle. Okay, so we got the first rail up and now we're going to work on the second one. Okay, so we have both rails up now. And there they are. So we can put some corners on. That'll give us like a little platform area around the air conditioner and up around the max air fan and then in the middle we're going to have solar panels. Okay, got the, the rack done pretty much. I still have some more to add like I'm going to add my solar panels. Um, one big solar panel here and another one over top. Uh, I'll explain that when that happens, but I just use these corner brake brackets to uh, on each corner, nice and strong. It's very sturdy. Um, in between the Max Air and the air conditioner, these two uh, pieces here, I have 74 inches, and my solar panels are 69. So it's going to give me uh, a little extra room to do some stuff.